Hi guys and welcome to Epcot. Today we are making our second visit to the Flower and Garden Festival. You may have seen our other shorter vlog where we just did a quick trip around. Today's going to be a little more in-depth, so definitely stay tuned if you want to see more topiaries, more food samples, uh, more of the 2019 Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot. Let's get inside. This penguin sculpture is actually made out of pieces of plastic that were all improperly discarded. It's kind of fun to look and see all the different items, everyday items, that made this piece of artwork here. Washed Ashore is the nonprofit that makes sculptures just like the penguin one. Uh, this is actually an Adelie penguin and it's the type of penguin that's featured in the newest Disney nature film called Penguins. Anyone hungry? The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. So living with the land is a must for me during any of the festivals here at Epcot. They always add a little bit of something different based on what the festival is. So living with the land during the Flower and Garden Festival is so bright and so beautiful. So I highly encourage you to go to living with the land uh, during the festivals and see what kind of special things they put in there. Here's the uh, ubiquitous pigment topiary that seems to make its way at all the flower and garden festivals here at Epcot. The butterflies are back for flower and garden and they are so kindly letting us into their house so let's go inside and visit them. coming soon to the butterfly garden. These guys. I think a white butterfly could be one of the few butterflies I could correctly identify. Like, hey look, there's that white one. I think this needs some WD-40. <laughs> I don't know if I just don't remember that butterfly garden very well, but that has to be the best visit to that butterfly house that I've ever had. They were just literally flying all over the place, sometimes almost hitting my face. I don't know if they're more active in the mornings or what, but maybe try going in the morning. They seem to like the cool, cooler weather or something. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. It was cool. <laughs> Another fun thing that always changes for all the festivals, those are usually the jaminators. For flower and garden, they're the jam and gardeners. You could see they had flower pots as the drums. There were some shovels in there. So again, a lot of fun theming for these festivals. There's some more topiaries. Lightning McQueen is here, along with Mater. Stitch is right in front of his favorite ride, Mission Space. These purple Martin birdhouses are here all the time, but during flower and garden festival, they're uh, especially recognized. They're definitely taking up residence in these birdhouses. So Buzz is usually over by Mission Space during this Flower and Garden Festival, so I was wondering where he was. Here he is guarding over all the Purple Martin birdhouses behind him and maybe doing some artwork later. Bo Peep is a new topiary this year at the Flower and Garden Festival. I love to see how advanced and detailed these newer topiaries are. They really are amazing to see up close and in person really and truly a work of art. Uh, and if you look right here, this is Spike, the bee that you'll be searching for if you do the search for Spike uh, scavenger hunt. Uh, this is the seasonal scavenger hunt that they have for Flower and Garden Festival. And this is what one of them looks like near these uh, Toy Story topiaries. It would be really bad of me if I didn't also point out that Bo Peep's sheep are right by her as well. I believe this is one of the Purple Martins. 
and he seems to be out on the hunt for some violet lemonade perhaps. There are certain snacks at these food festivals that just like everyone loves, like violet lemonade. I tried it once, I didn't like, like it that much. I don't really know what, what I didn't like about it, but they literally have this whole line for it because everyone loves it. And I always feel like I need to try it again because I feel like I'm just off or something. But Violet Lemonade is one, and I also do not get the big deal about Frushi. So, unsubscribe now if you want. Let's head into the festival center called the Gardener's Terrace for the Flower and Garden Festival. So this uh, pavilion for the Flower and Garden Festival mainly has merchandise, and there's one food booth in here. They actually made some salt and pepper shaker trash cans for this year's Flower and Garden Festival. And then over here, they're kind of showing you the floating gardens. These are the ones that you see in the little lagoon area. Just for kicks, I kind of do want to make my own topiary at home just to see what it would look like. It would probably look just like this. <laughs> they do have some special pressed coins here for the Flower and Garden Festival. You can see that they don't look like the pennies. These are actually like coins that you can get. And then here are the different designs. I think I would pick this one. These are some of my favorite topiaries every year, the three caballeros. Also perfectly timed with the monorail going by. These are the floating gardens that they were showing you how to make at home inside that pavilion. This looks amazing. This is the beef torta. It's braised beef on a sourdough roll with queso, <laughs> we'll just say queso, avocado, pickled onions, and jalapenos with a spicy, habanero sauce. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. That beef torta was pretty good. The sauce reminds me of like a chili sauce or remind, the flavor reminded me of eating chili, uh, which I'm not crazy about, but um, still the beef was good. The bread on it was good and it's served in like a cup. So the bottom of the cup has all this sauce that you can really soak up, soak the bread in. Pretty good size too. A little bit bigger than like a slider size. I would like it to be a little spicier. It reminded me of like a Mexican style barbecue pork slider, except it's beef, not pork. But anyway, that's what it reminded me of. These are always some of the most adorable topiaries right here in China. Chowing down on some bamboo. Here's the dragon topiary in China. They have all these different animals of the zodiac made out of seeds and stuff. And just look at all the section people have picked off. It's like, why do you do that? The Italy pavilion, in my opinion, has the best display for flower and garden. I love just all the, like, they're not wild flowers, but I just love how they're arranged here, all the colors. And although Lady and Tramp are not new topiaries this year, they are in a new location. Uh, Mickey and Minnie have two topiaries, the one near the front that we'll show you in a second, and then this one as well in the America Pavilion. Definitely one of the most popular topiaries to so the Beauty and the Beast one is just gorgeous. I know I showed this poo topiary before, but wow, I did not realize how fluffy this poo topiary is. Maybe his topiary has like grown since the Flower and Garden Festival has gone on because he is so big. I always feel like the Canada Pavilion looks extra gorgeous during the Flower and Garden Festival. All the flowers are in bloom. It's so gorgeous over here. And more of those floating gardens. For the second half of the Flower and Garden Festival, pass holders get this daisy magnet. This is way bigger than the other pass holder magnets they used to give out. Like it can barely fit in my hand. So it's a very, very good, nice big magnet. Huey, Dewey, and Louie look eager to help out in the garden. I have a yard that they can tend to. Eager to help in the garden. Why are they walking through the flower? Look! Yes, the little Donald. Mickey and Minnie are having a picnic out front. This is probably our final visit to the Flower and Garden Festival for the year. And I always got to take one last look at this beautiful quilt.
So out in front of the flower bed, uh, this is our last visit, most likely, to the 2019 Flower and Garden Festival. We got to try another sample. Um, we, I think we saw all the topiaries, which is my favorite part of the festival. And just enjoyed the day. It's a, it's a sunny day. It's a little bit hot, but not summer hot yet. So it was a fun day at Epcot for sure. I love this festival. Uh, up next, of course, is the Food and Wine Festival, starting this fall. Uh, the Flower and Garden Festival goes until June 3rd, I believe. So you still got some time to get down here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and make sure to follow us for more on Florida.